Hello everyone, this is Rob. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a $15 synthesizer plug-in that's on sale right now. I'll show that to you in a couple seconds. I'm also going to do a quick run-through of a basic trance track idea for those of you who are looking for just kind of the basics to get to a uplifting trance style genre song idea. All right, so this is what I've got. And so stick around for me. I'll give you the walkthrough, but I want to show you basically what we've got here. The synthesizer that I'm talking about is this one right here. It's called Hybrid 3. It's version 3. I guess it originally came with Pro Tools. When you bought Pro Tools, this was the synthesizer that came with it. So anyhow, it came across my Facebook for $14.99 or $14.95 or whatever it was. And I thought, well, man, that's a pretty good price for a cent that was at one time $149.99. So I bought it, and it's very surprisingly trance-oriented. And the interesting thing is, is that it's $14.99. It's got 1,200 presets. It's a th synthesizer that is fully programmable. You've got two layers that have three oscillators each. You've got a uh, behind the uh, under the hood section here. Then you've got sequencers for each layer. Here's the B layer. Here's the A layer. And it's also wavetable. So if you switch to wavetable, then you have like over a hundred different choices for wavetable. So, but I just very quickly had gone with presets and let me show you a few features of the synthesizer. It's got filter envelope. It modulates the cutoff of the filter. This is the envelope amount right here. It's got resonance. It's got a kind of a uh, distortion filter saturation. Down here in the amplifier section, you've got three dedicated effects that you can adjust just right on the fly as you're as you're designing a new sound, you can add chorus, you can add delay, reverb. Uh, you got the filter, you got the amp envelope, <clears throat> you got LFOs, your effects section, you've got just a ton of effects, just about everything you'd want in there. It even has distortion, stereo width, tremolo, even a wah pedal, which I haven't played around with. I haven't, obviously haven't had time to play around with this. I downloaded this last night and I thought, well, you know, for 15 bucks, well, how good can it be? Well, it turns out that it's really good. It has a really good sound. And so let me just go through what I've got here. Let me play this right here. Just play it for you here. Okay, so you get the idea. And so on this first layer, it is a rolling bass line. And I basically have shown you the patch already. Let me solo that out. So I just got kind of went in here and I played around with the filter envelope to kind of get it to uh, where I wanted it. got it to where I thought that it sounded all right then so what I do is I just have basically a MIDI that goes one two three one one two one two you know da 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 and then I put a LFO tool on it to kind of give it a little bit of pump here's with the LFO tool it gives a little bit of a bounce 
Then I put some distortion on it. Then I put some compression on it. Add a little more presence actually. Not as much bite as I'd like yet. Then a sausage fattener. Turn the color up just a couple percent on that. Then that is complemented with an off bass, which is pretty standard for a rolling bass line to accompany a rolling bass line. And this is every, all of the musical sounds are with the hybrid three. This is a soft detuned saw bass, which is just your basic kind of uh, saw bass. I took a little bit off of the attack so it wouldn't uh, fight for attention with the kick. It wouldn't clash with the kick because it's an off bass, but it would kind of, if it was too uh, attacky, it would kind of fight for attention. So I kind of took that off a little bit. All right, and then I have a kick here that is from Sunny Lax Kick Essentials, Volume 1. You can buy that at From Freshly Squeezed Samples. I highly recommend it. This is kick number 17 in the, I believe, trance kick category. And on this, I have the Cashmere Free Kick Essentials. I've added a little sub. It hits it around F on the scale. So I've added a little bit of sub. This is without. This is within. With it in. Added a little bit of air. Had a little bit of transient attack, a little bit of pressure, a little bit of distortion, just a little bit of everything. Kind of made it sound a little bit more beefy. Then I have the clap. And basically send the clap to a Valhalla room, just the standard Valhalla room plug reverb plug-in with their sizzle plate preset. That's it. And then I cut, let's see, well, yeah, I cut a little bit of the ultra highs off. I may actually take that down a little bit, but it sounds pretty good right as it is. And I think with trance, what I found that sounds pretty good is if you have the, the drums, the percussion, the cymbals, the claps, what have you, in its own environment. Then down here I've got a, it's a closed hat pattern which is 16th pattern with decapitator distortion add a little sizzle got a sample delay to spread it out lfo tool to give it bounce so it's kind of a crescendo da 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 it gets it gets louder from the first one is quiet then all the way up to the loudest you can play around with that and then I also sent that to the sizzle plate. Then I've got hi-hat, open hat. Then I've got a loop. Let me play everything here. Okay. So that sounds okay, but I always like to put a loop in there to kind of glue everything together, just kind of a loop that kind of enhances it's it's kind of a machine gun sounding kind of loop but it's a commercial loop that i bought from sonic academy and let me play that for you see it's going to enhance got a little bit of a sizzle off open hat then it's got a 16th pattern that it's it's intricately done to kind of so that it doesn't sound like a machine gun kind of it like this one This one here, if I were to take the LFO tool off, that's the machine gun effect. And so it takes a long time to come up with a pattern just for a 16th note pattern that doesn't sound like a machine gun. And one of the ways that I do it is obviously with the LFO tool. But you can go even further and have even more texture if you got the time. But I just throw a loop in there that where somebody else has already done it. 
and it adds a little bit of something right down the middle. This, these are spread to the side. This is down the middle. Now you'll notice this one here is also this open hat. It sounds more stereo, but when I add this together, it makes kind of a more cohesive open hat sound also. Because it's got that enhancement. Then all together. All right, and then another hybrid three synth melodic signs. Solo that here. That's basically, here, here's all the presets you get here. You get 1,200 presets for 15 bucks. So even if you looked at it that way, you know, of what you're getting for your 15 bucks, you're getting 1,200 presets that are just all over the place. And this is an arpeggio. They've got a huge arpeggio section. Then they've got sequence that's even more. But there's also some drums in there. There's all sorts of different types of sequenced uh instruments there you've got sequenced bass you've got bells you've got percussive you got leads risers and falls soft leads drones you even have ambient ambiences or ambiance so you get a whole lot for 15 bucks plus you get a synthesizer thrown in so it's really quite a deal and it sounds really good i'm impressed okay and then the next sound is is another hybrid nice strings soft pads you've got 60 over 60 pads and you got bright pads you've got another 40 there so this is that that's what this here's what this one sounds like now on the pads now on the melodic sign i have this sent to a different bus play that melodic sign it's a bright chamber that I've reduced this down to 369. I think that the normal preset is higher than that. And then so on the strings, I put it right, put the uh, bright chamber, yeah, put the bright chamber right on the channel itself, and it's over eight seconds. And I believe the stock factory patch is five something, but I want for the strings, I want a wider, more uh, ethereal, and in the back. So I've got that one, then I've got this one. Again, both hybrid. That's nice strings. This one here is Anna Sweet. And then over here, I've got an Acid, which is a blue distorted bass. Now this patch has the modulation is set up to where it's whoa, sorry about that. Velocity synth sensitive. So what I did is I went in here and I started off with a higher velocity. You know, kind of changed up the pattern. And then in the plugin itself, in the effects section, we've got a stereo delay and then distortion after the delay. And it's quarter note in their distortion. Turned up quite a bit. And so all together, this is what we got. Let me pull.
pull up where to get this synthesizer. So there it is. Go to adsrsounds.com. I'll put the link in the description and you can get it. 15 bucks, I highly recommend it. And it's a very capable synthesizer, programmable. It's got wavetable effects. Not really a fan of the reverb that comes with it, but there's other reverbs in your DAW that you can use. So hope you enjoyed this video and have a nice one. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.